Hey there, Damien here from 95 Google with a super quick hands-on taking a look at Google's Gallery Go, which is a stripped back version of Google Photos, but for emerging markets. So at under 10 meg, Gallery Go is way smaller than Google Photos and with good reason, because this is stripped back pretty substantially. The interface is much more streamlined and easy to navigate as it has been designed with first time smartphone owners in mind. That means no sidebar menus, just two distinct sections. That is all about there is to Gallery Go. You can scroll through every image or video you have locally stored on your smartphone and delve into the pre-created folders. I think it's pretty neat that it shows you folder sizes so you can see just how much space your photos are taking on your phone. Um, obviously this is meant for offline usage. So a lot of this information is given to people who maybe won't be able to view more information on their mobile device or desktop for instance. From the folder view, you can add folders of your own and that moves things around accordingly so you can find things a little bit easier. There is said to be some AI smarts in here to auto generate local albums based upon who's in your photos, for instance, but I haven't seen that yet. I'm not sure if that is actually working outside of uh, Nigeria where this application has launched. You do get some very basic editing features and they do include the ability to auto enhance your photos. I still find the end result a little bit mixed at times. I'm not sure if Google Photos does a better job. I'll have to test that and get back to you with that one. You are given some very, very basic editing options, which only give you the option to crop and add one of the 14 Instagram-like photo filters, which I must admit are still better than most filters I've used on a smartphone. I tested Gallery Go on OnePlus 7 Pro, but the app is targeted more at developing markets where smartphone hardware is a little less powerful. It should run flawlessly on more modest smartphones as a result. I think one oversight is that Gallery Go is only available to devices running Android 8.1 Oreo or higher, which I think might limit the reach it could have. So that was a super quick hands-on with Gallery Go. I think it's a good lightweight alternative to Google Photos. If you do have slightly better hardware though, I just stick to photos. If you want to check out Gallery Go for yourself, you'll find a Google Play link in the video description. But thanks for watching, that was a super quick hands-on. Let me know what you think. But until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google, and I'll speak to you later.